Good afternoon, guys. Just gonna do a quick video today. It's pretty nasty out right now. It's about 27 degrees and it's been snowing lightly all morning. And now it's starting to mix with sleet and freezing rain. Seems like all the storms that we've had so far this month have done that. We've got probably about an inch or two of snow the past two storms before they change over. This one looks like it's changing over sooner. As you can see, there's just a dusting. It's been relatively cold over the past couple of weeks, but warm enough to melt the snow that we have been getting. I'm on my way out to get the game camera, or at least check to see how many pictures are on it. It's been out there since my last video about a week ago. So we'll see what's on it. The area that I had it in had quite a bit of activity. So I would assume that there's at least a dozen to two dozen pictures on it, I hope. At some point, maybe in an upcoming video, we're going to get rid of these two brush piles. We're going to burn them. I sometimes like to keep them for the little critters that live in them over the winter, but we'll see. They're far enough down here in the woods where we don't see them from the house, so we don't have to really worry about burning them right away, but we usually like to get rid of them as soon as we can. Typically, it seems like just to make room for more. We had a pretty good windstorm a few weeks ago. This big white pine tree here got snapped in half, and there's the other, the top half of it, leaning up in the trees out behind there. There's a handful of trees like that out here. It was a southwest wind. Typically when we get high winds and storms, it's like a west wind. So the trees almost seem to be built for that kind of wind and they don't get as much damage. But when we, whenever we have a, a different wind direction, there seems to be more issues. There were quite a few power outages. Actually, I believe three or four videos ago, I talked about that windstorm and that's when that tree came down as well as a handful of others out here. can actually make out the, the game trails pretty good right now with the way the snow fell. All the areas that are matted down are where the snow is collecting first. So right now I'm walking on this pretty good trail right here. There's the camera. Let's check it out. It's all frozen. Twenty-eight pictures. Cool. All right, I'll turn it off. I think that's enough to bring it back in. See what's on it. This is the area it was facing again. This area right here where we did have snow on the ground was all packed down from deer tracks and some coyote tracks as well. So we'll see. We'll see what's on there. I might have a few of those as well. It was really nice out earlier when it was snowing. There were big fat snowflakes, which kind of indicated to me that it was gonna turn over to more of a sleet freezing rain mixture pretty quickly, which it did. But when the snow was falling, it was really neat. It was only probably 20 minutes ago or so when it was still snowing. So the way this storm is acting, it's kind of riding up along the coast. So if it shifts just a bit further out to sea, some of the colder air will be, get wrapped back into it and we may flip back to snow. It's gonna be one of those storms where we go back and forth between a mix and snow. Thanksgiving's coming up in a few days. 
Today's Sunday. That's why I'm not wearing full blaze orange today. There's no hunting. Um, but this week upcoming is typically the biggest week for rifle season here in Maine. A lot of people have more time off because of Thanksgiving. So I probably won't be coming out here over the next week with a lot of hunting activity around. Thursday would be a good day to come out because by the looks of it, we might have another storm midweek or so and then it's supposed to cool off again. So the deer will be moving around. But I think I'll leave the uh, woods hiking and activity up to the hunters for this this last or over these last couple weeks of hunting season. Anybody that hasn't shot their deer yet is probably getting a little bit more anxious to get one. All right, I'm gonna get up to the house here, go inside, put the SD card in my computer and see what we got for pictures.